Hey guys and welcome back. In this video, we shall see how to enable the group policy editor in Windows 11 Home Edition. Now, if you are also using Windows 11 Home and you are wondering why group policy editor is missing, it's because of the fact that the policy management is a feature which is designed for the professional enterprise and education editions of Windows and that is why it is not enabled in Home Edition and uh, let's see how we can enable it using a batch file so what you need to do is just open your notepad and then i want you to copy and paste these commands here i have kept these commands in the description of the video so you can directly open the link and copy the commands and then paste them here in the text editor and then i want you to save this file as a batch file so just click on files and then click on save as and then you have to give a name to this file so let's say I'll just write group policy editor like this and then we have to give it extension of BAT because it's a batch file and then you have to change this save as type just make it all files like this and then you may want to change the location where you are saving this file for easy access so I'll just keep it on desktop and then I'll just save it like this let me close the notepad and after you save the file you can notice it that it has turned into a batch file this is not a regular notepad file now now what we have to do is just right click on this batch file and then click on run as administrator and the commands are going to be run on their own so we just have to wait and let this dism command to download and add those packages in your windows 11 home edition so just sit back and relax now once it is done you will see something like this press any key to continue because we have used a pause command at the last but anyways you don't have to get into details you just have to hit any key like this and the batch file is going to close and now you can just hit windows plus r key like this and then you have to write gpedit.msc like this and hit enter and the local group policy editor is going to open up like this and you can go ahead and start using the group policy editor to make the changes that you want to make and in case you are not able to run the group policy editor still now then you can run an sfc scan to check for corrupt system files this is something you can do in case your group policy editor is still not working so all you need to do is just right click on your start button and then click on windows powershell in admin mode and then here you just have to run sfc space forward slash scan now hit enter so this is going to check for the corrupt system files and then try to fix it for you and hopefully your group policy editor is going to work just fine after that so that's all for this video don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching